everyone, I'm Rebecca and welcome back to my channel. So I decided that I would do a kind of a little bit different of a video this week because I have had a lot of you ask me how I manage to balance and juggle everything that is going on in my life. And <laughs> the answer to that is kind of, I, I don't even know. So I figured I would put together this little video about like a week in my life basically so that you can see you know how much time I have that is devoted to sewing versus to theater versus to editing versus to work I mean I actually do work a real job four days of the week as well so yeah I, hopefully this is something that's going to be interesting to you I'm just going to kind of do like a week in my life type vlog we are starting here at uh 2.30 on a Saturday. So I know it's a weird time to start, but I do tend to wake up late on Saturdays. So I actually woke up at like 11.45 this morning and then I laid in bed with Dora, my cat, if you didn't know, for um, like 30 minutes or something like that, just like scrolling on my phone, whatever, checking emails, Facebook, etc. And then I got up ate food, cleaned up my house quite a bit. Like I really kind of cleaned the kitchen pretty thoroughly, tidied up the living room a bit. And uh, then I put makeup on and here I am. So I have not done much today, but I do have a pretty hefty to-do list. So the big thing that I'm doing today, we're going to be kind of mixing where you see things in sewing vlogs versus this I don't know exactly what will come out first, but I'm working on my Samantha Cloak project. So that is going to be one of my main focuses today. I'm also hoping to do another Saturday video for you guys. I'm hoping to film that today. It's a new series where I'm talking about projects that I've done pre-YouTube and how I made them, how I put them together, etc. Because I've also had some requests from you guys about those. There's a handful of projects in particular that you always seem to ask like, but how did you, you know, where's the videos on that? How did you make that, etc. So I decided I would do a series about that. And so I'm hoping to get that scripted and filmed today. That sort of thing I would rather just like script through so that I'm not blabbering at the camera and forgetting things since I made it a long time ago. So that is also on my to-do list. It's also like a gorgeous day outside. So honestly, I might just like take a walk around the yard. It's weird for me right now because normally, Lion is right down here, but normally I take Lion on a walk every single day. We go like at least mile and a half, two miles or something like that, but he is currently healing from his ACL surgery still. He is not able to go on walks for another few weeks, and so I have not been walking, which is not good, but I just feel awkward taking a walk without my dog. I don't know. How do people do that? How do people, like, get out of the house and not feel awkward, like, walking around their neighborhood when they don't have a dog on a leash? I don't know. You're jingling a little. Yeah, you're a good baby. I would pick him up, but I don't want to hurt his leg. So you get to, here, I'll put a picture of him right here. So you're not seeing him, even though he's right here on the floor. So anyway, those are my big to do's today. I have a lot going on this week. We are in the middle of tech week for Into the Woods. We're having a weird like pause this weekend because of Super Bowl and Valentine's Day and stuff like that. So I don't actually have rehearsal again until Tuesday for that. And we will have two more dress rehearsals and then we'll open on Thursday. So break from that this weekend and you'll see more of that later this week since I'm doing a weekly vlog. So anyway, I'm going to go get working on this sort of stuff. You know what? Maybe I'll take a little walk around the front and backyard first. Check on how flowers are growing. Here is the baby. He's saying hi. Hey, Lion. Since I'm on this walk around, I realized I never showed you guys my new car, but this is the new car. It is a Hyundai Tucson Hybrid, and you can't tell from right here, but it is actually really, really dark blue. I swear it looks black in this light. And of course, a bird pooped on it, so that's great. But yeah, that's the new car. I hate gardening, but I like flowers, so I do try to plant some. So those were old bulbs, and then last weekend I planted a whole bunch of new ones, but they haven't sprouted yet. And these are the ones that Dora keeps trying to eat. Who is that cute boy? <gasps> Hi, cute baby. It is now four o'clock. I've been working on this since after I took the little walk around the yard. And I am going to take a break now, go get something to eat, and I will come back to this later. 
had a nice hour long break for dinner, dinner, whatever we're going to call that at four o'clock. And now it is time to go back to sewing. I'll do that for a while. And then I probably will go script that video. So I was working along on my hem when one of my castmates from Into the Woods told me that uh, they're going to have an impromptu game night. So I think I'm actually going to head over for a couple hours and then come back and work on more sewing when I get back. I don't know that video that I mentioned is going to get filmed today. Uh, yeah, it's going to happen at some point. <laughs> Maybe not today, we'll see. But yeah, I'll come back and I'll do more sewing later. So after I got home from the game night, I spent the next like two and a half hours working on the Samantha cloak, doing all of that hand sewing. That is now done. And since the collar is gonna be a whole different thing, I feel like it's a good time to kind of call it and maybe start heading to bed. I may work on the script for that video that I did not film today. I may work on that just a little bit before going to bed because it is like two in the morning, but uh, I know that if I try to do the script now, I will be much more inclined to jump right into filming it tomorrow. So that's kind of my goal. So I think that's what I'm going to try to do. Then I'm going to go to bed. I will see you tomorrow. So it's four o'clock on Sunday. I kind of forgot that I was doing this recording the week thing and obviously didn't record anything for this morning. That said, I wasn't wearing makeup anyway, so I wouldn't have wanted to because I don't like to come on here without makeup. Anyway, what I did do earlier was I woke up at about like 10.30, snuggled with Dora for a while, then showered, ate breakfast, and then started in on scripting the video that I'm finally going to be recording today. That's the next thing that I'm going to be doing, in fact. So I scripted up the video, which is how I made my green wool bustle gown from 20... Well, I finished it January 2017. I started December 2016. So that video will have already come out by the time you are seeing this video. So I will link that video down below. And once I was finished scripting it, I took a short break, then went and put on makeup and stuff and also did laundry. And now here we are 4 p.m. So I get late starts on weekends normally. And yeah, that's probably why I have productivity problems. Anyway, now hopefully I am going to be very productive for the rest of the day. I am going to go film that video. I'm also going to film a video where we are taking a look at a 1920s dress that was gifted to me. That also will have already come out by the time you see this, so I will also link that video down below. And then I'm going to get back into sewing a little bit of the cloak before ending that vlog. So I don't know how much of that I'll actually get done because I do have to edit at least two of those videos tonight, hopefully. So, lots to do. I am going to stop talking to you. I'm going to get my spats away from Dora. Thanks, Dora. And I am going to go start recording some videos. So I just finished recording those two videos. Uh, videos take a lot of setup and stuff like that to do as well, besides like the scripting or not scripting or whatever. So I'm tired. I'm gonna go take a little bit of a break, maybe have a snack or something like that. And then I will go back to the cloak and probably also watch those videos through or what I recorded of those videos and get back to work later. So I will see you in a little bit. So my break from earlier turned into me realizing it was dinner time, me making dinner, and then me going into editing one of the videos that I filmed earlier. And it is now 9.45. So I guess I'm not sewing today after all. I am instead going to end the Samantha Cloak video that I was working on with this week and go edit that video so that that can also be all done and everything and make the thumbnail for the video that will go live to my patrons tomorrow, which was the first part part of the Samantha Cloak video. So yeah, lots of video working on stuff, but not so much sewing. And this is what happens sometimes when you do YouTube. <laughs> sewing kind of takes the backseat. So I will be back with you tomorrow because after I finish that, I'm going to go to bed and I'll see you tomorrow for work because it's a Monday. So yay. Just a quick check in <laughs> in between meetings. I am working. I do have the wonderful luxury of working from home. So that is why 
you see me in my sewing room here because I just popped in from the office right next door. But yeah, it's Monday morning. It's a little before 10 a.m. I finished one meeting not so long ago. I've got more meetings later and a bunch of admin stuff to do because that is what I do. I do admin work. So that is my job for four days a week. And then I get to do this job after that job ends at four o'clock or theater or whatever. So I will see you again after work when I, you know, get to detach myself from the computer. And <laughs> until then, just know I'll be sitting there doing this. It is now four o'clock. I have just gotten off of work and I'm really tired, even though it's a stupid desk job in my house. I don't know why it makes me tired, but it does. Also probably only sleeping for six hours a night contributes to that feeling. Anyway, because I'm feeling tired, I'm going to take like 15 or 20 minutes to just kind of like chill on my phone. Hopefully won't waste much more time than that. And then I have to upload those videos that I edited yesterday and make thumbnails for them. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then I will probably start working on the cloak some more and run to Joann's for stuff that I need to get for the cloak. So hopefully I can get all that done and actually do some real sewing tonight. I decided that what would wake me up is not working more on computer stuff, so instead I am going to work on the Samantha cloak and then run to Joann's and do some other errands. Basically I'm going to work on the cloak until I get tired and want to run those errands because the errands will also help to wake me up. I was debating about taking a nap and I don't want to waste time like that when I'm not sure that I'm tired enough to take a nap, if that makes sense. Anyway, so I'm going to work on this and I will check in with you later. Maybe I'll bring you along on my errands. You want to come to Joanne's with me? That could be fun. That was a nice little errand run to get me out of the house besides Joanne's. I also dropped off stuff at UPS and I went to Target and returned a bunch of things, got two new things, and then also some grocery items. So that was a very productive trip and now it is back to sewing and I got all the clasps and snaps and stuff that I needed at Joanne's so I am going to finish the cloak tonight. Okay, I'm apparently bad at this whole remembering to check in during my workday thing because I forgot to check in with you this morning. I did finish the Samantha Cloak in Gators last night, so that project just has a hat left. And I've been working today. It's one o'clock. I was just thinking about possibly having some lunch, but yeah, I'm currently, I've been working since 8 a.m. and I'll be working till four. So I will come back to you after I'm done working because that's not really exciting. Once again, I'm forgetting to check in. Right after I got off work, I went and I picked up groceries and now I have, I think about a half hour that I can work on some sewing before going to tech rehearsal tonight. If I remember to take this camera off the tripod, I will bring you along with me to tech rehearsal. Today we are doing a hopefully full run with costumes without the orchestra. So we don't get the orchestra tonight, we get them tomorrow. We'll have like a complete show-worthy run tomorrow, I really hope because we haven't actually made it all the way through the show yet without stopping for some reason or other. It's a little scary. So anyway, that's what tonight is. But for right now, I am going to work on Samantha's hat. Into the woods without delay, but careful not to lose the way. Into the woods, who knows what may be lurking on the journey. Into the woods to get the so you saw the marquee there for a second in the front of the theater, but I forgot to actually film anything at the theater besides that. So I just got home. It is 1118 and I am going to probably have a small snack, go on my phone or um, watch TV for a few minutes and then go to sleep within the next hour, hopefully. So good night. So I've decided that there really isn't much point in talking to you guys during my work work day, as in my admin work day, because all I'm doing is sitting at a computer. So it's now after my work day. <laughs> and now it is time to be able to work on sewing before our final dress rehearsal for Into the Woods. So I'm going to work on Samantha hat stuff. And then yeah, I don't know what else I'll have to show you, but I'm going to try to remember to bring you along with me to Into the Woods. And I will also pop in if I, I've got a little video work stuff to do as well. I don't know that I'll be doing that before rehearsal, but if I do, I will show you.
So I've had my like hour-ish, hour and a half-ish, whatever, of sewing time that I gave myself after work before rehearsal. This is how I juggle things. I take very little chunks of sewing time. And I have a working hat mock-up that I'm actually going to use. So that is great. I will be able to sew more in the little gap between work and the show tomorrow and hopefully finish this hat because luckily it is a super quick thing. But for now, I am going to get ready with everything that I need for rehearsal tonight and head over to rehearsal. And I'm going to try to remember to bring you with me. Hey, I'm remembering to check in backstage. We're here in the middle of the show. I'm gonna go around that room. So we're in the middle of rehearsal right now, our run, our final dress rehearsal run, and we open tomorrow. But I will say hi to you again when I get home. <laughs> so I clearly did not check in and say hi to you after the show last night or after rehearsal last night. We actually ended at 11.20 p.m. So it was super, super late and that was not on my mind when I got home. Anyway, I am now finished with today's workday, Thursday, which means I'm also finished with the work week, at least like my admin job work week. We are opening the show tonight, so I have a couple of hours now between work and going to the show, and I think I'm going to work on Samantha's hat, but I'm also tempted to do some like house cleaning -y stuff. I know I haven't really been showing you chores around the house and how I manage to fit those into my schedule. And that is because I don't do a lot during the week when I'm really busy. I tend to save a lot of that for weekends. In fact, Friday I feel like is usually like my cleaning day and that is tomorrow. And I will certainly be cleaning because there are a few people from the show who are coming over after the show tomorrow. And also I have a friend coming to stay with me on Sunday evening and then my parents, she'll leave on Thursday, my parents get here on Friday. So <laughs> my house is gonna be very busy and going to be kept very clean next week slash this weekend. So I do have a lot of house cleaning to do later. Earlier today, what you missed is that I washed dishes and I unclogged my bathroom sink. Sorry, didn't show either of those to you, but I did do those. I tend to wash dishes like while I'm waiting for the coffee to make itself like after I press brew and I'm waiting for it to drip through that's one of my favorite times to wash dishes or like if I'm cooking something that doesn't need my attention like I put something in the microwave and I'm waiting for that to finish then I will wash dishes then too so it's usually while I'm doing other things in the kitchen and frankly other than the dishes and general like pickup tidying I don't do a lot of cleaning during the week so generally I will like tidy the living room a little bit at the end of the night, just pick up what I've put out that day. And then vacuuming is something that happens like once a week. So I'll be vacuuming tomorrow. I don't know that you care to see that, but I will be doing that. I'll also be cleaning the bathroom. And that's probably about it because I did a lot of cleaning last Friday in anticipation of this week being busy. Um, so yeah, but I think it's time to work on the Samantha hat and maybe clean the toilet. We'll see. So I decided that cleaning was more important than finishing a hat today. So as you just saw, I just vacuumed the house. I also cleaned the toilet. So now I think the only thing that will need to be cleaned tomorrow is probably just like the rest of the bathroom and maybe like wiping down the dining room table. But that is it, everything else is clean. So that's good because that takes a load off my mind for tomorrow. Like I won't have to rush to try to get a lot of stuff done. I do want to finish the hat for sure by tomorrow, but we'll see at least then I can take it easy the rest of the day since I'm sure I'll be tired after tonight's show and then I've got another show tomorrow night. So I still do have a little bit of time. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and cut out some stuff for like the hat lining and all that and work a little bit on that before I have to go. So I forgot to bring you with me to the theater, <laughs> but I just got back from opening night. I also didn't check in with you like right before I left. I actually never worked on the same hat today. Instead, I decided 
after cleaning that I would make dinner and then I did a reel, like I shot a reel for Instagram and then it was time to do my hair, ta-da, and go to the show. So that's what I did earlier. We just had opening night and then went out to eat afterwards and it was a great show. Even though we didn't get a run in, full run without stopping ahead of time, tonight we did not have to stop, thank goodness, and the whole show was really just fantastic. So since it is now 1230, I am actually going to get ready for bed, and then tomorrow I will clean the bathroom, run some errands, and do the show again, and then I've got my friends from the cast coming over tomorrow night. So I don't know what all there is for you to see tomorrow. I do hope to finish the same hat tomorrow as well. That would be really great. So hopefully I will just check in throughout the day and let you know what's going on, how I'm doing with my time and all of that sort of stuff, because this is about time management, right? So it is now Friday. I'm getting a rather late start to the day because it is actually three o'clock. I mean, I'm not starting my day now. I did wake up at 10 this morning, but I laid in bed for like over an hour with Dora and my phone, just, you know, relaxing, chilling, whatever. And then I got up to go take a shower and decided, eh, instead of taking a shower, I should clean the whole bathroom. So I cleaned, well, almost the entire bathroom. I did not do the shower yet, but I still need to do that before Sunday, but I'm not sure when I'm going to. But Everything else in the bathroom is clean. The entire house, in fact, is clean. I cleaned off like the dining room table, set out a tablecloth, except that that tablecloth was one that I had purchased to make a skirt potentially out of, and it's actually too large for my table. So now I'm torn on whether I like it more as a tablecloth or potentially still saving it for a skirt, because if I like it more as a tablecloth, then I could just cut off the excess and like re-hem two sides, which is kind of what I'm thinking I'm gonna do because at some point I decided I don't know that I'm going to make it into a skirt and therefore that's why I folded it up with my tablecloths. <sighs> the life of upcycling, right? You never know what you're gonna do with those tablecloths that you get from the thrift store. <laughs> so anyway, then I ate brunch that was way too much food and then I put makeup on and now here we are, it's already three o'clock. So I have three hours until I need to be, a little less than three hours really, until I need to be leaving for the theater. I wanna be there at about 6.15. And I have a lot to do that I haven't done. I mean, the house is clean, so that is great. But there's still a lot to do because I was hoping to finish Samantha's hat today. That's a thing. I was really hoping to rake leaves in the yard. And I have several errands that I need to run, mostly returns, but also I need to get a couple things for next week's sewing project, which is going back to Daniel Deronda and the Writing Habit shirt shim shimmy set thing. So I need to get some stuff there and I need to return all of the library books that are all over my car because otherwise no one can ride in my car. I've got a lot of like six books to return to the library, something like that. So yeah, and I was also hoping to drop some stuff off at the thrift store. So, that's a lot to do in less than three hours. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get all that to work, but we're going to start with the leaves, and I'm going to rake some leaves for a while because I think it's supposed to rain later, so that needs to be done first, and then the library, and then we'll see what all else gets done too. So, let's go rake some leaves. So raking leaves is basically a constant for me because of this tree right here. which of course right now being mid-February is still totally bare, but I have been raking all of the leaves. You can see in my backyard here, that's where I have raked versus where I haven't raked yet. I've been raking all of that since they started falling back in like October or whatever. I basically, I fill up my yard waste bin every week and that is how much I can rake each week. So it, like, it's nice because I don't spend, you know, a lifetime all at once raking it, but it does mean that I basically have to rake every single week. So still got quite a bit left and I've got like crocuses poking up, but yeah, there's a lot left. So let's go rake some leaves. Well, it's been about like 20 to 25 minutes and I feel like it doesn't look like much, but that yard waste bin is now full. I especially got a lot raked over this way and I cleared out the area among all of the little crocus flowers here that are all so cute. They were all just like poking up through the leaves. So still have that all to do in the next few weeks, 
but at least like the area of my yard where there's actual lawn that was kind of my first priority so I've been doing that since October but this is the nature of being a homeowner I guess anyway I am going to go double check that I have everything that I want to donate and then start on my errands so we're gonna try this whole filming in the car thing for the first time, which I see YouTubers do all of the time. I've already knocked out two of the errands, both took longer than I thought just because of lines, but I got the Target return done, I got the Joann's return and purchase stuff for Daniel Taronda done. I am now at Value Village where I've got two bags of stuff to donate, and now at this point I think I've actually got a little bit of extra time, so I think I'll go in and poke around, see if I see anything that I want to use in a future project or incorporate into my wardrobe or is American Girl related or whatever. And that is because I decided when I was at home before I left that it would be a good idea if I just brought everything that I needed with me because there's actually a library just north of here. So I'm kind of like progressively working my way north and then the theater is further north than that. So that way at this point it is 4.57. So I have an hour until I need to be there because if I wanted to be there without having already done my hair at home, which is not done, then I need to do my hair at the theater and I need a little extra time. So I've probably got about a half hour-ish that I can spend at Valley Village. So I'm gonna go do that and I will see you later. So pretty perfect timing. I took 35 minutes and I wound up getting a Disney trivia game and um, a skirt, which is gonna be really cute for spring and a tablecloth, which I really needed and then three, I think, fabric options. So I will show you all of that later when I am home tomorrow, probably. But yeah, good trip to Valley Village, and I donated all of the stuff that I needed to, the two bags of stuff that's been sitting in my trunk for a really, really long time, like literally from the old car. So that's all great. I'm gonna drop stuff off the library and head to the theater. So once again, I had my camera at the theater, and then I naturally did not film anything. So here we are, post-show. I actually have friends from the cast who will probably be showing up any moment for a game night, but I figured until they get here, I would show you what I got at Value Village today. So first is this skirt. The elastic will need replacing, but otherwise I think it's lovely. I mean, it's gonna be so pretty for spring. I'm super, super excited about it. Nice long length and cotton, just lovely. And then this tablecloth that I'm probably not gonna use for a tablecloth, I think I might make something out of it. I'm not sure because look how gorgeous this cut work is. It's way too large for my table, but it is just so pretty. So I really, really liked that. I think it's cotton. We'll see, maybe. And then this was another one. It's like, it's just, it was just too pretty to leave behind. I believe it is part of like an Indian outfit, but it's this, mesh with beads all over. These are all beads. Look at that, all those beads. Oh, I think people are here. So I will come back and show you the rest of it tomorrow. Well, it is now tomorrow, it's Saturday. So let me finish showing you this haul. All right, so this was the one that I was in the process of showing you. It is quite long too. I haven't measured it, but it's probably about a yard wide and at least two and a half, I'd say, yards long. So it'll make a really, really gorgeous shawl is kind of what I figured. Like, especially for Regency, they just loved having shawls as accessories in Regency. And I think that this would be just gorgeous. It would also honestly probably make a really pretty table decoration, but I don't want to risk it getting spilled on or anything. I mean, the beading is, it is just absolutely exquisite and it goes all the way around the entire thing and then it's got little bead like little bead flowers that are in the middle as well like you can see one right there so it was just so beautiful I could not leave it behind so that was why I bought that even though I totally don't need that one thing that I'm crossing my fingers for I have not yet burn tested it but I found this fabric it's plaid. I'm hoping it's wool. I will do a burn test before, probably before I even wash it. I haven't washed any of these yet, but it's pretty like lengthy. I mean, this is half of it. So I think it's at least four yards and it has a nice feel to it. Like even if it's not wool or not a hundred percent wool, it has a wool feel for sure. So it's so much like it's more than I would need for a skirt. So I'm kind of thinking maybe like a winter pinafore 
I'm not positive yet, but I'll see what it speaks to me for, because, I mean, it's just gorgeous. I mean, you know me. I love plaid. I could not leave this behind. And it was like $10 for four yards of what I think might be wool, so very exciting. And my last object was one of the objects that I actually needed from the thrift store, which is a new tablecloth for my dining room table. So it's pretty plain, just blue, stripey. Pretty sure it's like polyester or at least a poly blend. But yeah, my one of my tablecloths is starting to get spotty. So I have only have two tablecloths and one of them's not looking great. And the other one just makes the room really, really dark. It's like a dark burgundy. So I figured this nice blue would go great. I will probably have to take off a little bit of width and a little bit of length, but that will be easy enough to do. I mean, this just has like a surged roll hem. It's not even nicely hemmed. So maybe I'll just nicely hem it. But yeah, that was my thrift haul. So good day at the thrift store. I got lots of fun stuff and made my way up to the theater yesterday and it was just a good day. So today, it is currently three o'clock because of course it is. I slept in till like 11.30, I think. I didn't go to bed until after three. So I slept until 11.30 and then once I got up, I didn't just like laze about, I was good. I went and I worked on video stuff that I have been putting off. So I did a couple of thumbnails. I re-edited a video because I have a new patron. <laughs> Thanks, Linda. And I wanted to make sure that she got included into the video that I had already otherwise edited. I also had to change the music in that video, so that's why it hadn't been uploaded yet. So that video, which was the Examining the 1920s dress from last week, that video is live, and I will have that linked below. And then I also was doing thumbnails for the Samantha Cloak vlog number two video, which is also already out. So I will link that video down below. This is what's weird about like vlogging and filming when you're doing a whole lot of videos at one time and they all come out at weird times because obviously this video is spanning a week and it's spanning the same week as the hat, which I haven't worked on in a couple days. So speaking of the hat, that is what I am going to do now. I am going to, as Sondheim says, finish the hat. Well, he says finishing the hat, but I'm going to finish the hat. Uh, hopefully it won't take me very long because I want to get outside and get some finished footage of that so that I can wrap up that video. And then hopefully tonight, either before or after the show, I can edit those videos because I have a friend coming into town tomorrow right after the show. And I would like to have everything just kind of like done. I will probably be doing some sewing both while she's here and while my parents are here next week. But I want to do as little work on this channel as possible, so I've been trying to do a lot this week. So that's enough of me blabbing around. I am going to go get to work. Also, because it's three o'clock, I mean, I'll probably pop in one more time to kind of close out this video, but I did start this, I believe at 3.30 last Saturday. So you have nearly seen at this point a complete week in my very, very busy life and how I manage my time. So I will come back in a little bit uh, after I work on Sam for a little bit and just wrap it up, but I will see you soon. I was so focused on working on the Samantha hat earlier that I forgot to come and close out this vlog. But as you can see, I did finish it. It is now, I think, just about six o'clock. I have to go get ready for do my hair, makeup, etc., for tonight's show. And I'm closing out this vlog here because, hey, it's been over a week in my really weird, crazy life. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and that now you can see a little bit more about how exactly I somehow managed to cram everything in that I do. The biggest thing is that I know it might come off in my vlogs like I sew a lot, but as you can see, I really don't, especially when there's theater and other stuff going on. I don't. I mean, sewing just takes a back seat to everything else. So some weeks I do get a lot of sewing done. Other weeks like this, which is really more the normal type of thing, I don't get a lot of sewing done. I just make it look like I do somehow in my vlogs. I don't know. Anyway, if you liked this video, let me know. Maybe I'll do more of these like week in my life occasionally if, you know, something exciting is coming up or if, heck, if you guys want to see a really boring week where I really don't do anything but sew, let me know that too, except that's probably basically my sewing vlogs.
But if you did like this video, please go ahead and click the thumbs up icon. And if you'd like to see more videos, please go ahead and click subscribe and the little bell icon to be notified every time I post a new video. I do post videos here on YouTube twice a week with my sewing vlogs out on Tuesdays and other costuming content, or not quite costuming content like this, out on Saturdays. But I post every day over on my Instagram, so please go follow me on Instagram. That's at Lady Rebecca Fashions. And if you'd like to help support all of the work that I do on this channel, I do have a link to my Patreon and my Ko-fi down in the description below. I'd also like to give a special shout out to my Edwardian level patrons, Sharon, Julie, and Mirage. Thank you all so, so much for joining me today. Have a wonderful week, and I will see you very soon in my next video. Happy sewing!